DK Oldies has completely lost the plot. They're gone. They're just full mask off. They don't care that they're liars. Let's get into it. Skip it up and that up. So I had two little videos recently called DK Oldies Scam Me, where I uh, bought a Nintendo Entertainment System from them again, their refurbished player pack, and it was not refurbished at all. There was no refurbishing. There was a crack in the system, screws missing. The controller didn't work. Um, that's not called. That's not refurbished. Then I got a PlayStation Two that was even even worse condition, where the uh, AV port was was cracked. Uh, the DVD draw made a grinding noise. There was a whole mess of other issues with that as well. It was not refurbished. We opened it up. You could go check out the videos and see all the other flaws of them. That is my fundamental issue with DK Oldies. If they were just selling old overpriced crap, I have I wouldn't have even have made a video. But they're promising things they are not delivering. And it, not only are they not addressing these issues, and it just like publicly coming out saying we apologize, we want to hold ourselves more accountable. They're ignoring the issues, blocking people that talk about it. I'm blocked by DKLDs, and so is my editor and many other people. And then they come out with this video when me and other YouTubers like Jacob R have completely exposed them for being liars. And instead of saying, hey, we need to do better, they come out with a video called DKLDs refurbishes their consoles. I'm not kidding. Well, anyway, this is their damage control video where they, they put this out without mentioning names because they just want this thrown into the algorithm. So people who I hate using this term, but it fits perfectly, at least right now for 2023 until it ages like milk, the normies are going to see this. Okay. And like, oh, wow, they're actually thin there with Q-tips and cleaning their consoles, which they're not doing. I have proven it. Other YouTubers have proven it. But let's watch the video and I'll discuss as we go along here because it's a even though it's a minute and 52 seconds, it's not long. It's a wild ride. And of course, Joey's there to put a smile in all of our faces. Joey, you put a smile on my face. There's my smile. Every day, tons of new collections get sold to us here at DK Oldies. Let's take a look at this one, for example, and let's check out everything that has to happen to this Wii before we can list it for sale and it finds it. Yep, they get a whole bunch of bulk lots they probably buy for discounts from Lord knows where, and now they're going to pretend that they actually refurbish them. They don't refurbish them. What they, at best, what they may do is turn them on. <laughs> well, uh, anyway, I don't want to spoil my video for tomorrow. Uh, they turn them on. They pop a disc in and see if it works. And yep, refurbish. Boom. Put a sticker on it. Put a sticker on one of the screw holes to make it like if you tamper with it, you can't go near it. And to make it like we actually went inside the console and it's good to go. Sell it for $500. <laughs> anyway, let's continue. Let's see what Joey and his team do with this Wii. First, it gets picked up by our testing department and it gets thoroughly checked out to see if there's anything that needs to be repaired. Mm, no, you don't. Unless it was a complete coincidence that the multiple consoles that me and other YouTubers got just so happened. And, and no, I can't give away. But it, everyone who gets one of these consoles, they're dirty at best. Or they're not working at worst. Everyone, it just so happens that these YouTubers are getting the bad ones and everyone else is completely satisfied with their experience. Or is it that the consoles are barely functional, they're going to break, and you're sending them out to normal consumers, they're thinking they're getting something refurbished, they don't know any better, and this whole fake front that you put on on YouTube is the reason you could get away with it. These people who don't know any better think they're getting a refurbished product that's going to last them for years, and you just took it out of a box, turned it on, maybe, to see if it'll actually play a game. It's just gross, man. Let's continue, though, because it gets worse. In this case, the Wii isn't reading discs, so it's going to need to head to our repairs department to get a new laser installed. Our technician, Sean, opens up the console, and while it's open, he'll blow out any dust or debris that may be inside. <laughs> no, you won't. Go watch my PS2 DK oldies. There was a layer of dust in that thing. Go watch it. They don't do any of this. This is all... This is all just a, a ruse to get people to buy their crap at insanely overpriced prices. 
Anyway, let, let's watch Sean the technician just blow all over this. Then he'll clean out the rest of the internals, like all the blades on the fan. Now he'll install the new disk drive and then test it out to make sure it's working. And great, it's now reading disks again. Now it's time to put it all back together. Now, from what I hear, allegedly, Wii's are fairly robust, which is maybe a reason why they showed this where it doesn't need that much work, even with the laser replacement. Um, but that's what I heard. That could be a pile of crap. But I know for a fact they are not doing anything that they're showing here. Is he really put, he's putting a toothbrush in the GameCube port. They wouldn't do that. They wouldn't do that. That's, this is just not happening. and it gets passed off to Steph and our cleaning team. In the hands of a professional, a magic eraser can get rid of any dirt without damaging the finish. That is not true. That is 100% not true. Uh, excuse me. Why goo gone, son? Goo gone. You, you, if you don't want it to drip all over, you put some on a paper towel and you spread the goo gone on there. You wait until it lifts up the, the, the tape and the glue and that's, there's no way that you could use a magic eraser on a plastic shiny finish, no matter what professional has it in their hands and not scratch up that finish. You know who does that? Remember I reviewed that Xbox one from GameStop. Just if there's any dirt on it, just magic eraser, the whole thing. So it looks like it was in a cheese grater. <laughs> oh, Joey, you are a man. And a toothbrush works great for getting in those small grooves that run around the sides of the wig. A Q-tip in some rubbing alcohol will work great for cleaning out the controller and memory card ports. Then she'll make sure the Wii has the two doors to go on it. And now that it's looking great, it's ready to list for sale. Okay, now that it's been tested, repaired, and cleaned, it's ready to be listed for sale on the website while it awaits its new home. I have not received one product. And keep in mind, like I said, the third one that I have the surprise for tomorrow with um, was from a different address that DK Oldies did not know I was connected to. Never had a single system come in this condition, and I've made sure to order the refurbished ones, not the cosmetically flawed ones. It's unbelievable, man. Uh, you've seen what I've gone through with the NES and the PlayStation 2. I actually watched a YouTube video, shout out to my audience, on my live stream channel, RTU Streams. I stream on here and Twitch, links below to both stream channels. In the description, I have a YouTube channel I stream on and a Twitch channel, um, shameless plug. Uh, Kreisky, he ordered a refurbished uh, N64 from DK Oldies, and it was it was water damaged. It, it's here. Take a look. It, <laughs> it's destroyed inside. Oh no! No way! Look at this. Right off the bat, there's dust on the inside of this thing that probably got in through here. This is the garbage that they're selling. This is the junk that they're selling. This is this is where the scam is. The scam is not them selling overpriced consoles. If that's all they were doing, I will repeat this over and over again. Then fine. You are choosing to buy garbage at exorbitant prices. But they are promising that they are doing extra work to these consoles cleaning them so they almost look like new in all of their videos to give an excuse to charge this premium when they are not doing that work and i have more proof of that again tomorrow they are an ethical company that lies to the consumers and again they are going to be exposed by me big time make sure you sub to here because tomorrow we got a surprise in store for you that is I don't know if this will be the last DKLD's video. I don't want to say that because Lord knows what else will happen. But if it is, we're going out with a bang. Make sure you sub because tomorrow we got a surprise for you. Right, Joey? Is DKLD's a scam? No.